Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog. So this video is going to be a little bit different. So for those of you who aren't from Ireland, we had a special occasion this week on Wednesday, the 16th of June, and that was Bloomsday. So just to give a little bit of an explanation for those people who aren't from Ireland, this is a day that celebrates James jo Joyce's novel, Ulysses. As my friend Jerry will explain in a little minute, it's meant to be the date that James Joyce went out on his first date with his later to be wife, Nora Barnacle from Galway. And it's the day that Ulysses is set on 16th of June, 1904. That's when the protagonist, so I've got a little bit of something in my throat there, Leopold Bloom basically walks around Dublin and he charts what he sees and his experiences and Jerry explains a little bit more about that in a little second but basically I wasn't planning on doing anything to celebrate Bloom's Day. I don't normally, in fact I haven't actually ever dressed up for it before or anything like that but what happened was Jerry was texting me on Wednesday saying hey let's do you want to come round to my house for a glass of Sancerre and I was like okay and then he'd been texting me also about Bloomsday and various Bloomsday celebrations that were going on in the city so I just decided for a little bit of crack when I went round to that his house that night that I would dress up in Bloomsday garb as that's traditionally how people celebrate it they wear the Edwardian clothes that people would have obviously worn in James Joyce's time and also dress up as specific characters or whatever they want really and go to various pubs and whatever. Davy Burns is a big one because it is obviously featured in Ulysses. So anyway I just found whatever I had in the house that I thought would be kind of roughly suitable for the style of the time and um, yeah it was just really to give Jerry a bit of a laugh really and just to kind of mark the day a bit more because he is a big James Joyce fan and um, Jerry is a real character he's great fun I did previously say in another video that I wasn't going to feature any of my friends in my videos but look at I had to make an exception for Jerry Clark because He's just, he's gas crack and um, ah yeah sure, I really don't think he'll mind being in the vlogs, in fact I'd say he probably loves it. So um, yeah, so this is a little clip with Jerry explaining more about Bloomsday and then I will just tag on a few photos of what I was wearing on the night as well. Hey, hello everyone. We're here with Jerry Clark of Castle Clark, who is celebrating Bloomsday. Jerry, what's so special about Bloomsday? Well, really, it's a love story. Joyce, James Joyce was walking, <coughs> was walking uh, down Nassau Street, and he stopped to look into a window, a shop mm. window, and he was wearing a kind of a white suit. He was wearing white pants and a white jacket, and he always wore a tie. You know, he always wore a tie. He was well shaven. And a hat. Yes. He liked his hat. And uh, he glanced away and he saw this woman called Nora uh, walking by and he said, hello. Hello, hello, what's your name? And anyway, it turned out that she was uh, from Galway, <laughs> Nora Barnacle. Mm -hmm. And she was working as a maid in Finn's Hotel, just up the end of uh, Nassau Street, uh, which still has the name Finn's Hotel. Finn's on the, on the brickwork. Yes. And it's never worn off since 1904 or before. And he asked her for a date. And what did she say? She said maybe, yeah. Well, typical woman, she was being she coy. Sent me a letter. He got, her, <laughs> he, got her, he got her address, but he didn't see her again. He sent right. a couple of letters and, you know, will you meet me? Or they said you might. And uh, eventually they met on the 16th of uh, June, mm -hmm. 1904. And they went for a walk down to Ring's End, down near the uh, the two big, uh, the big smoky pipes, you know? Yeah, pools, pool and bag went, chimneys. Yeah, pool bag chimneys, yeah. And they went into a little tunnel area down there 
And uh, as Joy said afterwards, she made me a man. Oh, kinky. Put his hand. Right, there. okay, we won't go into that. <laughs> um, you were in Davy Burns today. What was that like? It was lovely, actually. Uh, you know, I, I, I got down there around four o'clock because that was the time that Blazes Boylan was going to meet Molly for a singing lesson. But we know Bloom knew it wasn't, Leopold Bloom knew it wasn't a singing lesson. Of course, it so wasn't. It, it was a bit like Joyce himself and Nora. Bloom was, was not jealous. So we took a walk around Dublin. That's, that's what Joyce wrote about it. Mm. It's really because uh, Leopold Bloom knew that his wife, Molly, was going to have an affair with Blazes Boyden. He knew he was being cuckolded. He knew he was being cuckolded. Just like uh, uh, Shakespeare himself was cuckolded by Anne Hathaway. Oh, terrible. These terrible women, Jerry. It's nearly <laughs> enough to make me be a manist instead of a feminist. They often say that Will had a quill, but Anne had her way. <laughs> Very good. Right. So anyway, they met up, and after that, it was a pure love affair that never diminished. Regard mm -hmm. I think both of them were optimists, especially Nora. Uh -huh. She was a very strong woman, knew what she wanted, and got what she wanted. Um, and, and, and Joyce was madly in love with her, even though he used to have relationships with other women of the paying kind of course he did <laughs> anyway that's 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 you know that is some insight from mr gerald clark of castle clark and you may be seeing more of gerald clark soon but no further no on that from it. me no okay bye <laughs>